Okay, this is just a quick um, useful tip about using SAS, the preprocessor for CSS. Um, I haven't actually shown much much of this in action, but what I'm this is my um, a redesign of um, of my site. So you can see now we're 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 going responsive. Um, finally, getting round to um, making this. Uh, this a better design, and um, part of that is this um, contact form. This is a based on a Joomla site, so if we inspect this, this is not not laid out so nicely, and we can see that we've got some class here, contact. Um, and apart from that, if we wanted to go in and start adding class names here to style this up, that would be a bit of a pain. We may need to do that, but if we can leverage some of the utilities that are within our CSS, then we may be able to add some, in other words, not change this and just change our CSS. Now, SAS helps you do this with the extent and inheriting. So basically, so you have this dot message um, class. Now, we're going to create, um, we have already our bootstrap classes, say for example a well that you'll see see here. So we're going to create this that form in this nice looking well. But this is the class that we'd need to add to that. So instead of adding that to the PHP and causing us a hell of a lot of problems when, when that gets updated through Joomla, which is something that you know you might get very frustrated with. Um, if we can have that handled by our template that won't get updated, that's a much much better way of doing things. Um, so basically, um, let me show you how we would do that, and it would just be a lot easier. So coming back in here, this is my core file where I'm starting to put in my um, my own template designs. So um, we're running on the contact page so so something like this um, and I believe that's that's what it is so it's at extend and what was it well I think it was so basically we know we've already got these two classes so I'll copy those um, We've already got them because we're using Bootstrap and we're already importing Bootstrap um, up here through Bower, so that keeps it updated. I've also got my my own like fonts file, but that's another another complexity we won't go into now. Um, so basically, I want to extend. We know we've got the dot well class. You need a co semicolon there. Uh, extend. And also, when I click save, you'll see in my terminal here, it's waiting for me to click save. So I'm going to click save there, quickly flick back to my terminal. And now, it's actually rebuilding my CSS, CSS for me on the fly, which is a big time saver. It's actually copied files across um, into my local host, and basically that CSS is ready to go here. So if we go back to my page... Um, we haven't edited any PHP. Um, the only thing left to do is hit refresh, and we've got a nice. Um, we haven't changed anything, but all we've done now is added this this CSS in here that that gives us the well. It gives us basically what that extends has done has given us this this class here, which is what it does. It extends extends that and so we have that that lovely thing there um, which is a very useful technique indeed I um, hope that was useful for you and um, hopefully if you comment and like these I might make a bunch bunch of them but if they're not very useful then I, then I won't so um, so please comment if you like them you need to do that on you know on people's websites where you go and get help you know help them out comment pay it forward as they say all right cheers for now have a good day bye